I guess <laughs> I'm gonna have to put myself in front of the camera so it becomes the a fade on, a fix on, and, and it focuses on me. <laughs> Hi guys, I'm Nutrix the Synth Guy, and today, well, I'm going to do something that I like to do, talk about synthesis. Audio kinetic, which actually... <sighs> Hi guys, I'm Nutrix the Synth Guy, and today we're going to talk about synthesis. Yes, another synth for the iOS, made by AudioKit. Well, if you follow me, you know AudioKit, you know that they're doing great stuff, and uh, they have this thing called app drops or limited edition apps and this one is called digitalism 2000 and this thing is pretty cool it's um it's based off uh let's say the sound of the 90s from rumplers it has its own samples um so the best way for me to teach you how it works um it's basically to go through the synthesis so we'll make a sound together so you'll know how to use it and uh, it's a really straightforward synthesizer. And we'll listen to some of the sounds at the end of the video, so you can actually listen and hear what comes with it uh, preset-wise. And they sound great. Like everything AudioKit is doing, it sounds great. Um, and then, the bit, then at that point, it's a question, of, is it the sound you're looking for? So let's start this thing and you'll see how it works. Now, the way I'm using it today, I'm using uh, Jupiter XM as a controller over Bluetooth to control this, and then I record this back through just audio inside my computers with my voice and all that stuff. So let's do this. So, gives you an idea of the sound you can get. Basically, this, this thing has uh, the traditional stuff that most of the audio kit apps have. You've got the settings, you know, the channel, the buffer size, do you want it to be always on if you want the background audio to run even if you don't have the app in front of you. So this is, you know, traditional stuff. If you want to connect through uh, Bluetooth, I've got it connected to Jupyter XM right now. The keys, you want them in white or dark. The range itself, bigger keys. All the labels of the keys at the bottom are just the octave. So just a question of the way you want it to be laid out. The wheels, uh, the modulation wheel and the pitch bend, what exactly you want to select, how you want to make it so it works the way you want. So again, all of these things is stuff that you know. Uh, the hold is basically keep, press a key and it stays on like a, a pedal. Uh, panic mode, if you have a stuck note, you want to get rid of it, you press panic. So all that stuff is there with, I think, every audio kit app. Then you get the octave. So that's for the keyboard. So the, the main part you want to play with is the section of the top where you've got main part volume. You get the oscilloscope so you actually see the shape of the sound. I always love this thing. I love the fact that you can see your wave. I think it's really um, interesting. And especially when you start making sound, it's one of the best way to see and understand that what you're, when you're tun turning a knob, it does something to the sound. And this one is less useful in a way because uh, the synthesis aspect is far more limited for a very special or unique or simple reason. The fact that this is Rumplers. Now, for those who don't know what Rumplers are, Rumplers is a uh, sampler that is a read-only memory sampler. So you cannot sample your own sound. So they're Rumpler, they're read-only memory samples that the company already did for you. So they, they recorded the sound, layer, layer them on the keyboard or for sections, and maybe layer on, on different uh, velocity section. I don't know exactly how they did it, but that's the logic behind Rumplers. So when you buy something like this, hardware or software, basically you're buying you know, samples that have been made for you. So, and how you see this in this window, you've got two windows. You've got the main window where you've got Let's go quickly. You've got the main, the volume, part volume. You've got two parts. So these two parts are two different samples you can play. So you can combine them. Let's say I'm going to just take part one, bring part two down. I only have part one. If I bring part two up, part one down, I only have part two. So these are two different samples, like having two different oscillators, basically. Bring it up, part two down. You've got reverb. Of course, you didn't turn it on. And you got the size, the mix. So this is effects. Turn it off for now. I don't. I just want to hear the sound, the raw sounds. But the reverb is 
the nice clean reverb that is provided by Audio, Audio Kit from you know for a long time now. So it's it's quality. It's interesting. It's good. You get delay again. You can turn it on. You can have stereo delay. You get the feedback of it. You get the time. You get the mix. I'm surprised that this is not syncable. So I don't have any sync value for the time of the delay time. So usually in the past, uh, Audio Kit had a sync button here. So I'm just drawing that in, Matthew. I don't know. <laughs> I'm, I'm okay with no uh, sync because I like to have it alive. Then you've got auto pan, which is this thing here. If you want to have kind of an LFO panning automatically your headphone. So this could be seen as uh, I'm going to do some type of a um, organ uh, Leslie type of you know panning. But to be honest, a Leslie sound has more than just panning. It has speed and difference between low and high was a different story. But then you've got monophonic. If you don't click on it, then you play many notes. Or if you put it monophonic, only the last one. Yeah, it's not low or high priority. It's the last one playing. And then there's glide. Glide, well, you want it to, you want it to glide between. It's not gliding. It is, it is, okay, it's very... Okay, it's gliding, but if you turn it off... Even if in polyphonic mode, it's still gliding, okay? So you get the glide. Then you've got the ADSR, attack, decay, sustain, release. Now, keep in mind something different here. It's, I mean, this attack, decay, sustain, release for the volume, fine, works well, it's... You know, it works. Now, keep in mind that the sample you might be using, you know, part of the sample, the rumplers that you're going to select, they might be made in a way that the beginning of the sound is rich and then it becomes duller in a way, you know, more stable, which is very normal for acoustic instrument like a piano, brass, anything that you hit or blow into, like a flute or anything, the first beginning of the sound is just like rich and then it's stabilized. So if you put an attack, a very long attack or slow attack on these sounds, you're basically going to kill the attack of the sound. And then what you're going to stay with is the, the body of the sound, which is less obvious. Like a piano, if you get rid of the attack, you're not sure if it's a piano or a guitar or something else. Because you, you, your brain really understands that it's a piano because you hear the hammer hitting the string and the string vibrating this way. And it's very typical in our mind because violin, guitar, piano, they're all string instruments, but they're not played the same way. They're not triggered and the transfer of an energy is not the same in the way you're having the, um, the, the string vibrates. So uh, it will, if you have a very long attack, very slow attack, you're basically going to kill the identity of the instrument, which is pretty cool in a way because if you do this, let's say we let's say we go into more and then you've got the two different parts. You know, first one I'm going to say, let's say I'm going to find, is there a piano here? There should be a piano or something. Um, you can, all, these, all of these are the different samples you can play with. Because I'm using an external controller, I can still browse the samples and play them because, uh, you, as you see, I cannot do it on the screen while I do that. Let's take this one. It has nothing to do with piano, but you've got the attack, the tuck, 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 tuck at the beginning. So if we go back into this one and we go back to the first window and we have a slow attack, you're going to have... Now it becomes more of a string because it comes back, it goes in slowly. Because if you bring it back in, it's a percussion instrument, like a marimba or something. A, a weird one, but yeah. And if you bring the attack up, it's more like a sound coming in gradually. So. 
Okay, that's the, the, the important part here. Let's go back to the second one. Still, let's browse the sound. These are the raw samples, so raw oscillators if you want. These, these are without using anything else, because if you go back here, I'm going to turn off the harmonic filter. I'm going to have... I've got the clean sound, attack decay, sustain, release, strength. What I have now is the raw sound of the oscillators. So, you, I mean, they sound really nice. This bass is really cool, and this, this digital... And again, this is like just straight the sample itself. So cool samples. A lot of... These are just the raw, so there's a lot of raw samples or more like organ so they have like like a hundred or something I don't know how many. all of them. But... So these again are all the samples. And by themselves they're already rich and nice, you know. Let's try a couple of other ones. Well, so these are all, I mean, there's a lot of them. So let's stick this one for now. And if I want to combine the two of them, I'm going to go into main, I'm going to bring the second one up. And a second one, and the second one would be, I don't know, take, uh, let's say we take this one, okay? This sounds good. There's bleeps in it, pretty cool. And we can do something like we want to pan this one left and this one right, and then... And then with the phaser... Let's pan in a little wet, not as much. Then you've got the filter. Turn off the harmonic filter. It's not the same type of... It cuts harmonics off, so you only keep the fundamental. You've got the key tracking, which is really nice. You go up the keys, it will open up the filter, and you go down the keys, it will follow the keys in. Move the cutoff point so it becomes duller. Turn it on, you got the resonance. So basically it's kind of a low pass filter if you want. And again, if you want to use the if you want to use the take this one here, like this. You hear the filter closing. Okay. 
So that's how you basically can make your sound. You've got the filter, the envelope for it, you've got the different sound you want, you've got the main, uh, and you get that stuff here with the attack decay system release for the EDSR. And we have this little dice between the name of the sound and the saving diskette. If you're younger than 30, you don't even know what a diskette is. So you might think about it in a different way to show an icon of saving. Hmm. <laughs> Whatever. So you have, um, you have this little dice, you press on it, and it's just going to do random. But did it create a sound from scratch? I don't think so. What it did, from what I understand, it just randomly picked a sound in the list of sound existing. That's where I say, well, just someone to try one, press it, and it jumps to, ho, oh, this one. So it's basically. is a way of and then they do something real, really well. They do great sounds. These are sounds that you can actually use, you know. Just have like just like nice. sounding so yeah if you're into this for making your own sound it's not that deep I mean there's not even an LFO to have access to but that's not the reason why you would like to have this is because you like the preset you like the sound the factory the preset they're there are really nice you can tweak them still you can bring them to some something else but you basically put all the effort has been put into having great Rumpler's sound to start with, and that's where this shines. So that's Digitalism 2000. Of course, it's a limited edition, so if you want to get it, go right away. The, the cost is low, it's like 299 US uh, entering price, probably going to go a little bit higher, and then it's going to be off limit in a certain time. If it's a sound you're looking for, check it out. Stay safe, make more music, guys. Thank you.